ALS is the premier engagement that brings senior land force commanders together to openly discuss security concerns and other issues that they encounter as leaders on the continent of Africa. We do an African Land Force Summit uh, with the distinct purpose of getting the Land Force commanders across the continent of Africa together in a single setting. Gives them the opportunity to develop those relationships uh, outside their region, outside their borders. Gives them the opportunity to discuss issues and topics that in some cases are common across the countries and in some cases are unique. And it gives us the opportunity to also develop those relationships and uh, develop uh, our partnership with our counterparts here on the continent? Well, first of all, I feel privileged that I was able to do, to host this uh, level of a, of, a, of a symposium with this kind of uh, uh, response from the people from all over the continent. Um, I, thank, I, I thank my, uh, my American partners that they were able to entrust us with this responsibility and that we could, we can host together. We're at the Singo uh, training area. This is where the Ugandans People Defense Forces conduct their peacekeeping training prior to deployment to uh, Somalia as part of the Amazon mission. And so uh, all the delegates were there. We got the opportunity to see the training. And then, of course, there's always the opportunity to shoot at the range. And my, my new brother, General Wamala, of course, volunteered me. And I love shooting. So anytime you get the opportunity to shoot an AK-47 or any other weapon, it's always a good time. Now, whether I hit the target, I don't know, but I sure bet you I scared it. On behalf of the SPLA, we thank the, the African and the UPDF leadership for inviting us into this summit. It, it, this, this one serves as the first golden opportunity for the SPLA to get interact with other, with the other African uh, military leadership, and uh, it is it has it has actually added a lot into our experience and the capacities. There are things that we have learned here, and uh, especially from the presentation of General Bosting things connected with the, with the transition of the forces, especially. And, and, and this had been one of our biggest problems in South Sudan. As you know, we, we have a bulk of forces, most of which are, were coming actually for, over from the militias, and we have integrated them. And this conference uh, made us to learn, really, on what we are supposed to go and do at home to get our army organized. So I really think it has been, a, 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 my take is that people have enjoyed it, people have been able to make friends, people have been able to address uh, uh, key issues within regions. Uh, are, we, are they going to find solutions? Maybe not, but at least they've been able to, you know, to talk about them. So they will be able to, in a, using other, other fora, they'll be able possibly to, to, to go into the more detail. A lot of times here in Africa, you, you hear about crises and bad things. I will tell you, in this conference, we, we learned a lot and heard a lot of good things. Uh, recently in uh, Malawi, uh, they had a tragedy when their president passed away, and there was a transition of authorities. And the chief of defense, uh, chief of their land forces, 
uh, was able to reestablish the fact or establish the fact that they support the Constitution and the Constitution is what directed who would follow up in that, uh, in that process for leadership. And had he not done that, then there potentially would have been a crisis in Malawi. But he held true to their oath to their Constitution, just like all the other forces here in Africa do as well as our own. And I thought that was huge. And he, he laid that out to uh, the rest of the delegates, and, uh, and it, it hit a point. There's goodness going on in Africa. There's lots of challenges. And I think together we will work behind the scenes to assist where wanted or where needed.